What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing some, um, I almost said Paladins, because I was playing Paladins earlier. But today, we are playing some Overwatch 2. And a lot of people think that you can't play D.Va or use her as a support. Like, they think, like, oh, she's just a tank. Like, you can't really use her as a support. But in actuality, you actually can. And I'm about to show y'all how. Yeah, they gotta be sitting over here at the other spawn point. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna show y'all how to use D.Va as a support here. Because a lot of people think that you can't, but in all actuality, you can. Like, if you kind of sit back and you kind of just... Yeah, you'll see. But if y'all don't know, I do main D.Va quite a bit. Now see, by following somebody like this, you're automatically creating yourself and turning yourself into a support role. See, by placing yourself in that position of being behind somebody, you're automatically putting yourself in that role of being a support. And a lot of people think that that's not how it is, but that is where they are wrong. See, by bringing the enemy down a little bit health-wise, see, I'm getting assists and a limbs by doing what I'm doing. Yes, I might be dying a lot, that may be true, but as you can see, I'm laying down cover fire for my team. And I'm getting assists. This is how you use D.Va as, as a support.
like I said, yes, I may be dying a lot, but as you can see, Diva can do some damage as a support, man. So as you can see, man, I got quite a few assists on there. Well, I said, as you can tell, you know, Diva's a great, great tank, but she also does make for a decent support if you know what you're doing. As you can see, I laid down cover fire for my teammates, and yes, I ended up dying a lot, and that is going to happen when you use Diva as a support. But it allows you to get assists and some elims. Which in turn gives you even more to work with as far as XP goes and all that stuff. So, yeah. If y'all missed it before, I'm going to show you one last time how to use D.Va as a support character. Everybody thinks that she's just a tank character that... She just go in heavy, go get them. No, there's more to it than that. Any character can be used as a support if you know how to do it proper. Ah, Genji. Let's go. Alright, let's do it. Now, when it comes to stuff like this, like transport, this is how you use her as a support. You get out here in front, and you lay down cover fire. You get ahead of your teammates, and you start just firing off shots at guys. Like, see, as you can see right there, I knocked uh, Torpion down a little bit. Either, no, that's not Torpion, that's Roadhog. Never mind. Don't Sorry, it looked like, it looked like Torpion for a minute, dude. The But as you see, I'm literally sitting here just dragging down the enemy's health as much as possible for my teammates.
Alright, we lowered him down a bit. Man, y'all, that is how you use D.Va in Overwatch 2 as a support character. A lot of people think, like I said, oh, you're dying a lot, you're no good at this, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But that's just simply not true. Because as I said, it's quite easy to use D.Va as a support, as you guys saw. So, yeah. With that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Like I said, this is a little tip on how to use D.Va as a support. Yes, you are going to die a lot. You will take a lot of damage. But in the long run, you do get a lot of assists. And you will get some kills. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you guys did, smash that like button, subscribe button, and notification button down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video, man. I'm out of here, y'all. This has been your boy, Catch Glace. And I will catch you guys next time, man. As always, stay humble, stay positive. Keep being yourself, and as always, stay tactical, man. Peace.